Hello and welcome to RubyCast. My name is James Gifford and today we are going to talk about the Shoes RB GUI Toolkit. So first of all, we open up your browser, go to ShoesRB.com and download a copy of Shoes to the North. So, how does all this work? Shoes uses Ruby for, for its code. Uh, so here's a simple example. They're doing it in three in three lines. We're going to do it in one. Uh, shoes app. They set a width, a height, etc. So they control window size. Then we have a button that says "click me" and an alert that says "good job." And then they close the code off. And they have screenshots of it running on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X. So now let's get to a terminal. Open up example one dot rb. Type in shoes.app button click me alert good job. And we run shoes example one dot rb and the button that says click me and it says hey good job. Now let's make something a little more complicated. Let's make a clock. So how are we gonna do this? Let's do shoes.app do. That's just the normal way to start off. And we say at time equals title zero zero zero. Every one do, so it means every minute. At time dot replace time dot now dot Ring hours minutes and then we'll just do this is twelve hour time. Oops. Thank you, Vim, for telling me about that. Go ahead and we'll save everything. Oops. And here, Shoes tells us here's the Shoes console, and Shoes tells us uh, that hey, we have a syntax error, and it's just normal Ruby stuff. So we're going to go ahead and close this. Open it up, close it off, reformat our code to the way it should be, run it again, and here we are, and then every minute it will continue to change. So let's say we don't want uh, that, so what we could do is we could do at 24 time 2 equals title 0, zero. every 1 do time 2 dot replace time dot now dot string Time. And here we're going to make a 24 hour clock. So we do hour, minute, 24 hour time. Then we see our two clocks. And, you know, we didn't really do, we didn't really separate them there, but it's there. So now let's do something. A little bit of style, aka shoes styling. So your shoes dot app title equals a styling sample. Do very stylish indeed. We're gonna do uh, a paragraph with red text with an underline. 
we're going to do at text.style stroke red underline single we run it and shoes has some text some red text with an underline so another example we could do could be text to equal uh, blue and then we do the same thing then we do stroke blue we save we run and there we go full list of colors that you can use is available in the golden or the holy book of shoes which is available on the website it's essentially the manual and uh, that's about it for more examples of shoes applications you can look in github.com slash shoes slash shoes hyphen contrib and um, just kind of look through the examples there they're grouped in levels so you have beginner intermediate advanced uh, there's a minesweeper clone in there uh, and similar things really good stuff just to read through and uh, to learn about shoes Thank you for watching.